sometimes feel like if I could just figure this out, mm -hmm. so much would be easier, being your own nutritional genius. Local doctor says knowing what is inflaming your body could save you a lot of heartache from disease. And as you're about to see, it all has to do with your DNA. Dr. Julio Arroyo is an optometrist in Houston who is constantly researching how to help people protect their eyesight. While studying how to help his patients avoid problems like glaucoma and macular degeneration, he realized that knowing your own genetics can protect you from all kinds of diseases. This was just one of those things that is very exciting and it's really um, it, it's a, a new science that can uh, literally change uh, people's lives for the better. Dr. Arroyo is talking about epigenetics. Genetics is hot these days because of the Genoma Project that was started in 2003 and uh, 10 years later the researchers did an amazing feat by, um, you know, completing the human body uh, genome. Um, so now genetics is hot because you can just tap into your DNA and see what kind of uh, potentials you have for disease. Larry Matthews has been coming to Dr. Arroyo to get his eyes checked for years. He still can't believe that of all of his doctors, it was his optometrist who helped reverse his high cholesterol and debilitating rheumatoid arthritis and sciatica. I have a lot of joint pain and I went to my normal doctor and he was going to give me all kinds of drugs for cholesterol and just different pains and uh, I don't want to take cholesterol medicine. That's when Larry decided to take the DNA test. We do that for about 30 seconds. We're just grabbing some cells from the uh, mucosa. Uh, doesn't hurt. The results will reveal foods that Larry should avoid to reduce inflammation in his body. We're not talking about food allergies, just foods that don't mix with his DNA. It tests for many things, including different types of hormone levels and how they affect overall health. You may think that avocado is good, and this particular patient is not good for them. They should be careful because they have two genes that are affected in their expression. And Dr. Arroyo says those genes are affected every time Larry eats things that are not good for his own genetic makeup. This eventually leads to inflammation in his body. All this area here you should be avoiding. Uh, now, borderline safe abundance, so anything over this number here is, you know, just eat in moderation, maybe one, twice a week in the most. And then anything on green is good. And he says even healthy fruit can affect you if it's not a good match for your DNA. Raspberry is going to affect two specific genes that actually affect, affect your mood. And uh, because these are, those are the mood, uh, the mood genes, right? So if you eat a lot of that, you may find that that's not necessarily good for you because it doesn't make you feel necessarily good. Everyone's results are completely different. Larry cut out all of the foods that don't match well with his genes and began taking targeted vitamins and minerals known as nutraceuticals. Worked wonders. Felt better. It increased your quality of life? Tenfold. I'm 67 and I work in the oil fields and I have to climb stairs and do a lot of things that normal people don't do. If you go up and down stairs 40 times a day, that's, you know, 40 foot stairs and straight up one level, uh, and you have to get up there as fast as you can. Well, if you've got joint pain, it hurts. Well, I can run up and down the stairs now and I don't hurt anymore. Plus, Larry says he can play baseball with his son pain free for the first time in years. So this test actually wow. goes way beyond just looking at nutrients. It also looks at serotonin levels that will show you how easily you get depressed or have mood swings, so it can mm -hmm. help you out with that. And also homocysteine levels that can determine inflammatory degenerative conditions like heart disease or cancer. And, and what Dr. Arroyo believes is that nutraceuticals, if you have those problems, what can really turn that around. So you're talking amino acids, fatty acids, mm -hmm. all kinds of vitamins, minerals, so that can really hopefully prevent you from having any of those diseases once you know the information. And uh, we were talking that insurance has not yet covered something like this. No, not yet. So right now it's $450. Mm -hmm. And they're really hoping that price will go down as it becomes more popular. And the belief is, is that when insurance co once insurance companies see how this is changing people's health, that they will start to cover because it. Because there would be a benefit to a not having one. all of these other things. 
if, if you're skipping chemotherapy yeah. because you knew to quit eating raspberries or it whatever it is, be money well spent. Perhaps. It really would be. So we'll see Very what happens. I will keep a close eye on this and let you know as as things go get better. Excellent.